Go forth, Sheila, and be free. I think she's sleeping. Are you sleeping? You sli okay, you just you just lie down there. You've been through a lot. I understand. We have got to now fix a big ass hole in the wall. Great. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Large hole in wall. Where are you going? You're working. Are you going to go get that laundry basket that Winston just left there? Okay, thank you for doing that. That's very handy. Uh, Brandon, are you happy? You are? Good. Because, yeah, I'm kind of just... Oh, Bob! Finish it! Right, shower rooms. We need to add shower rooms. What has happened? I want to know what's happened with all of these people. They're just sitting there. They're not going to holding cells. They're just staying there. Oh, I need to turn that off, actually. Uh, oh, God. Everything's happening so fast. Brain not working. Right. Oh, someone's stuck outside as well. Go! Oh, there's just people stuck everywhere. Great. Wait, wait, wait. You're, you're red shirt. Red shirt. Oh, no. You're just wearing a pink shirt. You're a normal person. I thought you were a prisoner leaving. If it's a red prisoner leaving, I know it's someone with a name in the game who's left, and I have to call them back because they haven't been through the reform program because that happens every time. You will never leave the prison. Still haven't got a name for the prison. Names in the comments because we really do need to name this place. It's been a long time since I asked, and I still haven't found one that I liked. So if you've got a name for the prison, please put it in the comments so I can see... And and you don't need to service this area. Please just leave and find out and see if I like one. Right. How is this going, Bob? Sheila is just dead, I think. Sheila, go over here. Come alive. Thank you. And we can actually start moving the utilities uh, over and through this part of the prison. Right. This is going to be the laundry, so we're going to want to... Take the pipe through the laundry and then into this section, like so. Um, the electrical cable, we've got to do a similar thing. So go up, go into the laundry, and go across. There we go. Brilliant. Lovely. Bob should do that. A hacksaw! Hey! Yay! You failed in getting that out, didn't you? Yes. How many people are going through our uh, our program? We have 22 past. Oh, that's pretty good. We've only got two people interested. Is anyone interested in the carpentry apprenticeship? Two are interested. We don't actually have any special workshops. That's something we can think about adding down in the bottom one when we get that done. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing? We've got lots of flashy, blinky lights. We need to finish by adding all the small pipes. Small pipe. Small pipe. Small pipe. Uh, special area has a slightly weird tree-shaped pipe. I suppose it's more like a cactus, you know, by the ones with the funny arms that stick out. And pipe, and pipe, and pipe, and cactus. Oh, damn it. Too tall. Oh, that's not a cactus. That's more like a, an L. It's like a snake. It's a pipe snake. Hmm. And that one there. Okay, uh, ooh. Why is there a toilet in front of the door? Bob! Yeah, it's clearly not where I wanted the toilet. I didn't want it in front of the, of the door. That's kind of inconvenient. They literally do have to jump over it. You don't care? I didn't think you did. That's probably why you put it there. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Has that just removed the fact that I want to destroy the toilet? I think it has. Dismantle! Get rid of it! We are going at full pelt, and this thing is still, still yet to be completed. Ah, oh dear. They're useless. They are bloody useless. We also need to build more roads, so let's give them something else to do. Can you also build this? As it is required for your faster movement to finish this lovely maximum security area. Right, laundry we need to put in. Showers and the common room. And please, Bob. Oh no, you're not Bob. You're way too not podgy for Bob. Uh, uh, showers, showers, showers. Shower heads. What is the best way to do this? So we're going to want uh, drains here and here and here and here. And then we're going to get the shower heads. It's going to be a fairly confined shower, but that's fine as long as they don't drop the soap. They'll be good. 
There we go. That's. Uh, I'm sure that'll work. If if we find there's just too many prisoners and too few showers, um, actually we can work it out because there's going to be six, uh, twelve, fourteen, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can share. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be interesting in shower time. That's for sure. Right, and we'll put showers along there, shower there. We can always add another two showers like here and here, but they're fairly close to the drainage. And obviously these showers are a lot more open because it's maximum security and we, we want to make sure the uh, the dropping soap instant just doesn't happen. Uh, yeah, go on, there we go, freedom is yours. Uh, let's also finish the laundry section. The reason I'm trying to put it off is because I know that they're going to start coming and trying to use this laundry equipment, which is not very good. Now, we'll start with the laundry machines themselves. We'll put these... How many are we going to need? We're not going to need too many, are we? No, I can't. I can't imagine we will. Let's put one there. Can't actually flip them around. So we'll put three like that. There we go. Uh, an ironing board... I should only need one ironing board, surely. We'll put that there. And laundry baskets. I've only got a service, a small amount, so three laundry baskets there. Is that everything you need for a laundry? I believe so. Oh, do they need a table? Where's our laundry? Oh, they need a table. Ugh. How the heck are we going to get a table in here? Table. Table like that. Table here. Table here. Table... Where can the ta right remove? Ah, oh, just removed a bit of cable. Right, put the table there and put the ironing board. This is a claustrophobic, bloody little room, isn't it? No, I can't put the ironing board there. The door's got to go there. Uh yeah. Right, we'll have to move the basket. Oh god, there goes a load of pipe. And right, let's move the table down one into there. And let's fix out this bloody... Oh, that, that, oh my god, this just isn't going well. Right, so we want this cable, we want that cable there. And we can also shimmy the pipe so it goes under the laundry machines. And no, I think we're done by the fact that we now have to re-add the laundry basket, uh, which we can put in... Like... That. Well... Uh, mm. We'll put one in the corner there. There we go. That works fine. And possibly... No, we won't put one there. That's, that's good. It's good. Uh, we need uh, just standard doors here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have much problem. And a standard door... What one do I want? That one there. Cool. And... Right, so that's the laundry done. We need some lights in here as well. Because uh, there are no lights. At all. Anywhere. So we'll have a light here. We'll have a light here. Let bulb... Let bulb. This is my favourite part, by the way. Let bulb. Let bulb. Let bulb. Let bulb. Bulb of light. Oh, bollocks! What is it with the clicking and the, the disappearing of pipey things? God's sake. There we go. Pipe. Right. Bulbs of light are in. And we're also going to need some light bulbs in here, here, and here. And one in the centre of this room. And then possibly one in each of the cells. Um, otherwise, it is going to be slightly gloomy. Hopefully, those lights will light up the uh, shower room. Actually, I suppose we could put some lights in the corner. And then they'll definitely electrocute themselves if they try and remove the light bulbs. So, I'd advise against it. And people are still stuck. Come on, Sheila. There we go. I know you're tired, but just... You know, you can do it. You can do it if you Q and B it. Yeah, see, see what I did there. Other way round. Right, okay. Auto saving. Go away. I've got to put concrete tiles down. Ah, it's oh, it's a fork. But well, that's new, ish. And there we go. And the concrete tiles are all the way up here. That's fine. We're gonna have to sort out this area. We have still got 85 prison. 85, 80, 87, 87. Why, why has it gone up? Oh, no, it was 88. It's now gone down to 87. Yeah, that's that's right. Good brain. And, oh, God, look at this queue of things. So, I don't know where all of these people are sitting, to be honest. Are they just... Oh, yeah, they are in the holding cells. That's good. The holding cells are actually being used. Um, what are the needs like? Because there was a lot of people. Oh, they're fairly satisfied. I don't think we actually have any beds in the holding cells. It could be a slight problem. We might take out the bench, put in two beds. 
like here and here just because I know the fact that the holding cells are slightly buggy at the moment so let's do that now we'll take out those benches we'll put in uh, some beds just to alleviate their stress from not sleeping or sleep insomnia as which they'll probably get from just standing and staring at a blank wall for a very long time yep and look they're all eating I like the way that they like transfer between these. Obviously, this can be completely locked off. We might even... Oh, no, we can't lock that. Well, we could lock those doors and just put some staff doors in. It's a possibility. Never know. Is it done? Right. What else have we got to do? Um, the yard's got to be finished. Common room. We can do common room. Are these lights actually in yet? No. No, they're not. Don't even know why I thought they might be. Oh, that's cool. The, uh, the pool table fits quite nicely. Like, there... So, how are we going to do this? We could have a pool table here and a pool table here. Like that. And then we're going to want have some benches or we could have some chairs. This is the maximum security after all. So, we're going to have a few benches like that. And we are going to want some kind of little bookshelf here. Oh my god, what happened there? Little bookshelf area here. And then. Now, they don't get a TV. We're not going to let them have a TV. Screw them. They cannot have a TV. What they can have, though, is a couple phone booths. Because I know they get very peed off. They don't have their booths of phone. And we'll also put a couple of these in here. And we'll put some in the yard as well to make sure they are well phoned. Yeah. Just going to ring them every day. <laughs> it's going to be a prank call. It's going to be like, oh, hi. Do you want a pizza? And they'll go, yes. And then we'll go, no. Lol, it's Steve. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, that's it's really cruel, isn't it? Yeah. Is the pipe in, or is this just flashing? No, it's still flashing because it's not in. Bob, what the frick are you doing? Are they all stuck somewhere? I've come. To no, they're just doing the forest. Right, I'm removing it. It's going. Someone says to halve the size of it, but to be honest, I'm just fed up with all of my workforce being uh, taken off the job to go and do forestry crap. So, no more. I've got enough money anyway. We'll, we'll fix it when we actually build this bit down here. It might be the next bit we've built. Actually, we'll probably build that bit because we've already got it there. Um, yeah, and also to make this more maximum security, we might want to actually build the foundations of this and get it done. Oh, look, another fork. What is this? Is this the new craze? Is it going to be forks instead of, of spoons? Maybe? Maybe, actually, I want to... Um, I want to chain one of the policies uh, to more solitary compliments of Hawaiian monkeys uh, as yeah the solitary is going to get very lonely unless we start actually check and actually screw it if you know god if we put that can you imagine that if we put solitary for finding tools you know every time we find those like 60 spoons when we do a shakedown <laughs> uh, just like everyone Actually, it's sleep time, so screw it. Shakedown time. Right. Uh, right, we'll let that get on the way. And then hopefully... <laughs> Bob will get off his fat ass and go and build some stuff. What is that? What have you got in your hand? Is that a... What is it? That's metal. Oh, for God's sake. Don't... Don't metal. Build. Build stuff. Am I going to have to time lapse again? Look, Bob, I only have to go into time-lapse when your workforce, okay, is too slow to actually do stuff. Mm -hmm. So time-lapse is like a directly linked, is like directly linked to your performance as a, a workforce task manager. So, you know, I'm going to deduct money from your pay if I have to go into time-lapse. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to do it, aren't I? I have to do this every time at the moment. It's, it's, I know you love time lapses, to be fair. They're great. I love doing them. They're so fun. Uh, although, making a time lapse with a big shakedown sign might be a bit irritating. So, we'll wait for that to happen. Oh my god, look, someone's actually using the, the shower. And they've been caught using the shower and therefore are being searched. Yes, yeah, it's a dangerous thing, a shower. Many bad things. You could probably get Legionella's disease from that, actually, because... We ain't used those showers in a while, and there isn't a drain there, so all the water just flooded out into the middle of the room. I can see that being a slight inconvenience. Uh, let's put some drains in. And also, where, where are the beds? Beddy, 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 beddy. If I go in front of the cells, do the beds show up? Ah, bed. There we go. 
Uh, we want these. Uh, there we go. We'll top and tail them. Like so. And in about a billion years' time, Bob will actually put them in. Or Jeff. Or Geoff. I don't think any of the actual workforce has died. I just always blame Bob because he's the leader. But how long does it take you to put in a little bit of road? Hmm? To be fair, they have actually completed those roads, so... Fair dues. Okay. Let's speed up this little section of the prison for a little bit. Thank you.